Hello viewers, in this tutorial we'll be discussing operations on set. So we'll start with union and intersection. So what is a union? How do we find the union between two sets? Uh, for this sake of illustration, I would consider universal set to be just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then set A is one, three, four, six. Set B, it's two, three, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. So A union B, when we say A union B, so union is denoted by this U here. So A union B is made up of what? Of all elements belonging to set A or set B. So any element that belongs to A or belongs to B automatically becomes an element of the new set, which is A union B. So mathematically, we said A union B. So this is union, like B. It's just an element X, such that X is in A, or X is inside B. All right. So for this particular example, if you want to find A union B, to find A union B, what do we do? Just take any element of A. As long as an element is in A, automatically it becomes a member of A union B. It becomes an element of A union B. So 1 is an element. 3 also becomes an element since it's an element of A. 4 also becomes an element. 6 also becomes an element. So we've exhausted the element of A. Then also we'll go and take the element of B. So we take 2. We can add 2 since 2 is not, is not here yet. You can see that 3 is also an element of B. So which automatically should be a member of A union B. But already we have 3 here. So there is no need for repetition. So we're not going to add 3 again. So 5. So 5 can come in since we don't have it here. 6, an element of B but it's already an element of A union B because 6 is also in A, so we don't need to add it. Then we need to add 7 and what? And 8. So this is the set A union B. So you can see that here, the order is not, is not really, doesn't really matter. We have 1, 3, right? And we have 2 here. So, but we can decide to rearrange it if we want. We can, we can try to rearrange it in let's say increasing order so it will be one two three four five six right then seven and eight but it's not this is not necessary okay so then let's go to a but let's see let's see what does this really mean uh, if we can have like uh, uh let's try to have like uh a Venn diagram for this to illustrate this. What this simply means is if you have this, so let's say we have two sets, set A, and what is set A? This is set A. Set A has the elements, as we can see, one, three, four and six so it's going to have uh but here what does this mean this means the intersection so we'll talk a little bit about the intersection first then uh here will become our b 
So let's go and talk about intersection so that we know which elements will be in this intersection. All right. So let's talk about intersection before we come back here. So what is intersection? Intersection is simply denoted by this N here. So this is what we mean by intersection. Intersection. So simply, A intersection D, B is made up of all elements that belong to both A and what? That belongs to both A and B. So if an element belongs to both A and B, then that element automatically becomes an element of A intersection B. So still working with this example here, this particular example, the A intersection B is simply, or let's put the mathematical definition just like this one. It's going to be X such that what? X is in A and what? X is in what? B. So please look at the definition. The difference here is that here you have O and here we have what? And. So what this means is simply you have to go to A and B and look at the element that appear both in A and B. So for example, 1 is in A, but 1 is not in B. So it cannot be a member. But if you look at this 3, is in A and 3 is in B. So 3 automatically becomes a member. 4 here, we also have 6. So automatically becomes a what? A member or an element. Then I think these are just the two elements that we have. So this is A intersection B. So now let's try to just put everything here uh, so what is a intersection b if you try to have the vein diagram here as well so this is a and let's say this is b so it means here is just going to be 3, 6. So this is the intersection of A and B. And now if this is A, so if this is 3, this is 6, what is left here? Let's see what will be the point, the, what will be the values left. Remember this is A. So out of A, remember what is A here as you can see? A is what? 1, 3, 4, 6. Already we have 3, 6 being in the intersection. Then here we are just left with 1 and what? 1 and 4 left. All right. Then for B, this is B. What will be left for B will just be uh, because B we have 2. So we'll be left with what? 2, 5, 7, and what? And 8. So, but if we are talking about just A intersection B, A intersection B is just this shaded area. This is A intersection B, this one in red. Okay? But if we come back here, coming back to this Venn diagram here, remember, we're still going to have the same thing here. It's still going to be 3, 6. Here, we're still going to have 1, 4. And here, we're going to have 2, 5, 7, and what? And 8. Right? So now, talking about the union, the union is going to be everything because the union, don't forget, look at our union. Our union is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it means it's going to be everything here. This one, includes, including the intersection. So this is shaded red, is our A union B. 
why just this shaded portion? This is A intersection B. This one here is A union B. All right. Now, let's talk about complements. Let's talk about complement now. Okay. Now, we can actually, uh, we can, yeah, we'll come back here. Let's talk about complement first. Now, complements. What is a complement? A complement of a set, for example, let's take a particular set, set B. If I want to find complement, is denoted by B, B prime or some text will use b to power c which is complement but we will use just this one so what is b complement b complement is what is the set in this case is the set is the set of all elements in the what's in the universal sets that does not belong to b mathematically it means b complement is any um, put it this way, B complement is any X such that X is in the universal set, but X is not in what? It's not in B. So any element that belongs to the universal set but not in B becomes our, our B complement. So what we can do using this particular example here, uh, so let's write the example down again. Uh, remember the example here. U is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then A, it's 1, 3, 4, 6. B, it's 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So let's start with B complement. So, if we want to get B complement, based on this definition, it's just every element that is in U and what? It's not in what? In B, right? So, how do you do that? Simple. If I want to find B complement, I will take every element that are in B. I'll remove them from the elements that are in the universal set. For example, this is 2. I will go to the universal set and cancel 2. This is 3. I'll go to the universal set, cancel 3. This is 5. I'll go to the universal set, cancel 5. This is 6. I'll go to the universal set, cancel 6. This is 7. I will cancel from the universal set. 8. Also, I will cancel from the universal set. So whatever is left in your universal set now, it's your B complement. So it's going to be 1 and uh, 4. Then uh, one four. I have uh, nine and ten. I think nine and ten. So this is B complement. Now let's find A complement. So if you want to find A complement, you do the same thing. Just take remove every element. Every element in A, remove it from U. This is 1, so I cancel 1. This is 3. I'll cancel 3. This is 4. We'll cancel 4. And this is 6. Cancel 6, right? So once that is done, I'll just pick what is remaining. We have 1. No, there's no 1. 1 is canceled. So it will be 2. And what? 5. 7. 8, 9, and 10. So this is it. And now, if we to just uh, have a feel of what it means when you have the graph, let's see what it, it is. 
don't forget we already had everything a complement remember what is our a if you remember our a itself is what's one three four five six right so a is going to be one three four five and what six so now let's assume this is a okay so what is a complement look at a complement a complement is all of this two five seven eight nine ten so it's going to be somewhere outside a so two five seven eight nine ten so this one it's our what's a right but everything now in this shaded area that I'm going to shade becomes our A complement, right? So now everything here becomes our A complement because they are they all they are part of the universal set, but they are not members of A. So this is where we represent A complement. Okay. Now you can also do that same for B as well. So for B complement, if we want to have B complement, remember what is B? B is what? Uh, two. So let's have a small. B is what? Two, three, uh, five, six, seven, eight. These are elements of B. Then what is element of B prime? It's going to be this one, which is one. It will be outside four. I can put it here. I can put nine here. I can put ten here. It's fine. So this one here, it's our B. Then the B complement becomes the shaded numbers outside. So which is part of the universal set, but they are not inside. They are not inside B. All right. So let's take. Uh, an interesting example or an exercise here. So look at this question. This one is asking for which of the following statement is true. So what do we need to do? First of all, we need to write down this our universal set clearly. It's a universal set is what is all whole number less than 11. So whole number will begin with what? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, because it's less than 11, right? And A, set A, is what? It's all even natural number, even natural number. So since it's a natural number, it means we have to start from 1, right? So we cannot add negative even numbers and we cannot add zero. So it means it's going to be one. Um, we're going to be we're going to add one. But is one even? No, one is not even. So it means we have to start with what? We have to start with two, four, six, and we have to add eight because there is equality here. Then B is 2, 4, 5, 8, 10. This is explicitly given. Okay. So now let's see which of this is true. The first statement says 0 is a member of what? The empty set. This is false because what is an empty set? An empty set, phi, it has no elements. In other words, we can denote it like this. There is nothing inside. So 0 is not a member of it. Then this one, B, B is also false because it's saying that 0 as a set. Please, this set is not empty. This set is different from this one, right? This one means it's a set that has 0 as the element. But this one means it's an empty set. There is nothing inside. So these two sets are not the same. Okay? So... Now, this one is saying that 0 as a set is a, is a subset, even proper, because there is equal to A. So, 
this one, what is true is that zero is a what is a subset of A because zero is in because zero is a member of what of A. Is that even true? No. If you go to A, you see in A there is no zero, right? So this is also false. So the set zero is not a subset of A. All right, then now we need to find A prime. Let's check A prime from here. What is A prime? And just like we said, A prime, remove every element of A from the universal set. For example, this is two, we'll remove it. This is four, I'll remove the four. This is six, let's remove it. And this is eight, let's remove it. So what is left is what? Zero, one, three, five, seven, and what? Uh, seven, nine, and ten. That is A prime. So this means this is what? This is true. But let's see uh, what is remaining. We need to find this one, A union B prime. So it means, first of all, you need to get what is B prime. To get B prime, remove so let's remove this now. To get B prime, we have to remove every element in B from U. This is 2, so I'll cancel 2. This is 4, we'll cancel 4. This is 5, cancel 5. This is 8, we'll cancel 8. And this is 10, I cancel 10. Then I'll take what is left. So you have 0, 1, 3, 6, seven and what nine so this is b complement right so now we need to find what is a union b complement so a union b complement now we have to look at this two because this is how we can get the complement uh these two sets right so we take what is in both. Now we are looking for union. So we're going to take what is in A or in what? In B complement. So all we need to do in this case, just take every element of A first. Two, four, six, eight. Then now take elements of B complement that are already not taken. For example, zero is not taken yet. So I can add zero. One is not taken yet. So I can add one. 3, I can still add 3. 6 is in B complement, but it's already in A, which we have already taken, so there is no need to repeat. 7, we can still take it. Then 9, I think we can still take it. So this is A union B complement, which we can, if you like, you can rearrange it to be 0, followed by what? Which one is the smallest? You have 1. You have two, you have three, you have uh, four, and I think seven, eight, and what? And nine. This is A union B complement. All right. And uh, you can see this is different from here. So this is going to be false. Right. Then I hope I didn't miss anything else. Yes. Okay. Now. Less E is what? A intersection B complement. So now we want to find the intersection of A and what? A and B prime. So this is A. This is B prime. So what is common? Um, let's see. A and B prime. Hmm. So we can see that what's... Six is let's see. I can only see we have six here, right? And also we have six here. Any other thing? The intersection means what is common. Remember, we are looking for what a intersection b complement. So we are looking for what is common in a, what is in a, and also in what 
in B complement. Uh, we have two here, but there's no two. So the only element I can see is six. So this is six, right? So it means that six is actually a member or is an element of A intersection B complement. But this one is saying that six is not a member. So this is also what false. So the only true statement here is C. All right. So I hope these uh, questions and uh, these explanations are all clear. If you have any questions or you notice any mistakes, just put it in the comment section. I will appreciate that. And uh, if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload videos, you can easily be notified. Thank you for watching.